Welcome back. This is Raven's Bullist, and I just wanted to discuss a movie here, Friday the 13th, uh, because of the lawsuit and everything. Um, so they finally settled it for the most part, and with that being said, um, there's not going to be any new content for a Friday the 13th game, the current game. There's going to be um, a second game they're talking about, so that probably won't include the um, first Friday the 13th. The first Friday the 13th, um, the original writer didn't like the direction of where Friday the 13th was. He didn't like uh, the concept of Jason, which is kind of funny because the, the success of the franchise is Jason. Like, without the first movie, yeah, I get it. There wouldn't be no storyline there, but you could completely take that out and reboot the series, and you don't even need Jason's mother uh, in it. So let's go through, let's talk about... Uh, Friday the 13th, 1 through 4, the original, like, when I say original before, Jason became officially supernatural. So I watched through it again. Uh, the beauty of the very first movie is that, the beauty of the first movie is, in Friday the 13th, like, you don't actually see the killer until the very end and find out it's his mother. So it's like, there's very, you just see the legs and you see the hands and you're kind of like, who's the killer? I don't know who's the killer, who's the killer? And you keep, like, it's really good about that, not revealing it to the very end. The problem I have with that movie is that his mother's not unique in any way. It's a story of, like, you know, revenge and love. So there's that. And they kill her at the very end. So they had to uh, make Jason became the killer. Uh, Jason, obviously, he died in the lake. He didn't survive. Some theories are people think that Jason died or he did survive and he lived in the woods. So I... In my opinion, I think he did survive. Um, he didn't die. Uh, so he was living in the woods in the shack when he had his mother's head and he saw his mother die. And then um, in Friday the 13th Part 2, you actually see Jason himself as the killer. We know in uh, the first movies 1 through 4, Jason can be severely hurt. Um, in fact, and I'll get to it in a little bit, he can die. So, in part two, he just has a burlap sack hiding his disfigured face. I prefer Friday the 13th part two as an origin, really, than actually the first one. Because the first one's not really, it's unique as far as, it's not really a slasher, it's more drama. Um, the second one, it's unique. It's the first time we ever see Jason um, as far as, as a, the killer. Um, and we know he can be wounded and stuff, and he hunts the, uh, the people in revenge for, you know, killing his mother. And uh, there's this curse over the lake. Uh, supposedly, everyone thinks they brought him back. But I just think that's, like, part of the rumors and superstition. And he hears his mother uh, because he's mentally deranged. And his mother was hearing him in the first one because she's psychotic. So we go on to... You know, part three. Part three is also unique. Part three is one of my favorite out of the four because in part three, you get his get he get he gets his iconic mask, his iconic hockey mask, and he gets it from this guy that's a practical joker that scares all the other ki all the other kids, and he's just like, oh, he, the guy with the fro, I forgot his name. Not important because he dies. I'm not gonna say his name. It's unimportant. He dies. So other than he gives Jason his iconic mask because Jason's like, oh, this is a cool mask. So instead of his burlap sack that he's wearing, now he's wearing the hockey mask at the end. And that's what makes that movie unique, too. Um, it's just, it's, I love it. And then we have part four, which is considered, was supposed to be the final chapter, the end of uh, Friday the 13th. And it, it does end good. It, Friday the 13th has always some, sh like, shock, uh, move or shock things in it um it's a slasher and it still managed to have that little bit of shock value it's not scary in today's standards but as far as what it went with this is that um we have little tommy jarvis who like yeah oh a kid murdered um jason jason's unstoppable jason's unstoppable up until you know he's he has he's really stronger than a normal human this is before he comes supernatural, so of course he's going to be stoppable. And they're going to end the series at chapter 4, um, so hence the final chapter. So in the final chapter, Tommy Jarvis shaves his head and um, 
convinces Jason for a pure second that, you know, I know how it feels, you know, that's what Jason, Jason was bald when he was a kid and he was disfigured. So he was ugly looking and Jason looks into that and he pauses momentarily and it gets Jason just to stop long enough to actually get wounded. And, um, his sister gets attacked again and, uh, Tommy picks up the machete, his Jason's classic machete and slashes him in the face. It stuns him. And we think Jason's down like always. Jason's not down. And then Jason goes to move, and Tommy just takes the, the machete and just slashes the crap out of Jason's face. Just over and over and over and over again. And it's confirmed that Jason's dead. So after being, you know, stabbed in the leg, after um, the neck, and we see in Friday the 13th that Jason is afraid of mortal uh, instruments of death, whatever you want to say it. Um, because he does back away, like, in the movies, it's like, oh, and he's bumbling. He's not, he's not the unstoppable monstrosity you see later in the movies. He's not supernatural. He's just a regular slasher, uh, who's, has superhuman strength, um, for being how large he is, like, six foot tall, and he's, like, a bodybuilder. So, he's just, like, any other normal person that fills the doesn't feel pain he's not supernatural he has some like neurological thing going on there and he keeps coming until obviously the final blows and he dies he officially dies in part four so i do love the original and i say original like friday 13th one through four because in friday 13 one through four it builds up that jason is a regular slasher killer like he, you have the development you have, as much as I hate number one, you have it goes from his mother, his and then he seeks revenge from his mother, and two, he has the first thing as a sack, because they didn't know what they're going to do with it, with Jason. They didn't know where where was he going. Like, okay, so we'll just put a sack over his face. And then it wasn't until three, they get the mask, and it was pure accident. They had a prop on set, the hockey mask. They're like, you know what, let's mo use this for the movie, and it continued on to the series. And then in four, they kill him. We find out, obviously, later on, Johnny, uh, Johnny, uh, Jarvis becomes um, kind of a main hero character in two other movies, but we're not getting into it. This is part one through four. And how I just love how the progression of uh, Jason as, you know, his development into his iconic uh, mask and machete happened. Uh, part three... <laughs> Part three was 3D, and uh, I chose not to watch it in 3D because it's, it's terrible for the time. But so I watched it in 2D, and you can still see some of the effects. There's like eyeballs pop out of their face. Um, so I will do a part two of this, uh, what I think, and we'll go over uh, the, the other four movies and the series that have the collection, like when Jason becomes su supernatural. But like I said, my favorite, I, I definitely see my favorite out of the four is uh, part three, just because of the mask and everything, and just, it's amazing. I love it. So if you do like this, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the f notification bell. Notification squad! And I'll catch you guys later.